Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production. Professor Porter and his party, captured by cannibals, gained their freedom through their supposed supernatural power, which appeared to bring rain. Word is brought that Jane, the professor's lost daughter, has been seen at the native temple cave with Tarzan. Though sensing a trap, the whites determine to investigate. Meanwhile, Jane and Tarzan, at the cabin in the clearing, decide to go swimming. Jane is attacked by a crocodile. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath. As he hears Jane's first cry, Tarzan swings into the trees and speeds toward the pool. Now he's just above the scene of the savage drama. Only a few yards separate Jane from the reptile. With a savage growl, Tarzan leaps. Jane clutches frantically at the slippery mud of the bank. The great jaws of the monster open to seize her. Tarzan lands in the water beside the brute. This unexpected attack takes the crocodile's attention from Jane and it turns upon Tarzan. Its jaws snap back at the thing close to it, but to no effect. Tarzan swims clear. The jaws cannot reach him. He plunges his knife into the thinner hide beneath the shoulders, encircling the neck with one powerful arm. Gimla dives, but Tarzan retains his hold. To relax it now means certain death. Again and again, he plunges the keen blade hilt deep into the mighty saurian. Tarzan's lungs are bursting for air. Can he hold out? He must, but in his death agonies, Gimla shoots to the surface. Tarzan fills his lungs anew. With undiminished strength, he still wields his knife. Again, again, again. The brute dives once more, but not before Tarzan has glimpsed a score of sinister forms gliding into the water from the opposite bank. Now the two are at the bottom again. The crocodile's weakening. Suddenly it goes limp. The duel is over. Tarzan shoots to the surface. Tarzan, hurry! There are more of them! Quick! They're almost on you! Tarzan strikes for the shore. Powerful, quick, clean strokes. Almost crocodile shoots ahead as it sees its prey. It's almost on him. Tarzan thrusts himself out of the water. He grasps an overhanging branch, pulls himself to safety as great jaws snap greedily just a few inches below his feet. Oh, Tarzan, I thought it had killed you, and I couldn't do anything. I didn't dare shoot. I might have hit you. <sighs> All right, now. Gimla dead. All gone. Look. Oh, how awful. They're cannibals. Cannibals? Yes, like Gomangani. Gomangani, eat Gomangani. Tarzan, cannibal? Oh, no, don't say that. Yes, Tarzan, cannibal. Tarzan, eat Horta. Oh, you're not a boar. Not in either sense of the word. And now, let's get back to the hut. Jane, swim? You're laughing at me, and I don't think that's nice. No, I've had all the swimming I want in this river. Jane, listen. Black men make many drums talk. Many black men, Jane. Do you suppose it has anything to do with Daddy and Cecil and Mr. Philander? Oh, I hope nothing happened to Daddy. Father. Father alive? Coleman Ganny not hurt. Tarzan not know why. Things may have changed since we escaped. They seemed in no danger then. But we don't know what has happened since. Jane no frightened. Father alive then? Father alive now? No, I'm not afraid, Tarzan. I'm worried. That's different. Oh, I don't know how to explain that to you. But I want to go back. I want to be with my father. He may be in danger. I can't help but worry about Daddy. He's so helpless. He's always needed me. Jane, want to go back to Gomangani? Black Man Village? Go to that big tree from where we watched them after we got away. We could see them. See if everything is all right. And then come back to the hut. Tarzan, go alone. Jane, stay in hut. Tarzan, come back quick. Tell Jane. Oh, no, no. I want to go with you, Tarzan. I want to see for myself. Then I'll be satisfied. All right. Tarzan, Jane, go village. Look, come back. Huh. Yes, Tarzan. Let's go now. Yes. Tarzan and Jane swing into the trees. With his incredible speed, the ape man with Jane in his arms flashes onward. Both are silent. As they speed through the upper terrace of the jungle, the drums get louder. Finally, Tarzan pauses. 
Drums no come from Black Man Village, Jane. I've been thinking the same thing, Tarzan. Drums talk. No kill them. Drums talk. Go look. What do you mean? You mean the drums are not ceremonial? That they are telling of a search party? Drums speak. Go look. Maybe Jane? Maybe Tarzan? Yes, yes. Now drums too much close. No talk much. Uh, Mark! Look, Tarzan, plenty black men, father, Mr. Belander, Cecil, and some more white men. Now, go slow. Tarzan, watch. <laughs> We are getting very close, monsieur, but I am still convinced that we are walking into another trap. It is utterly unreasonable, monsieur, that this, that this Tarzan would come to this cave. Word was brought to the chiefs that they were here, and I'm going uh, in. During our walk here from the village, I have become more and more convinced that Lieutenant Darno is correct. Remember, monsieur, it was the witch doctor who first led us to this cave and then disappeared. It was only by a lucky chance that we found an exit. Uh, all very true. But I can't see what that has to do with the present situation. What more natural, monsieur, than that the native medicine man should select the same place if he wished to trap us? Uh, but aren't you overlooking the fact, Lieutenant, that we did find our way out of the cave before? What is to prevent us from leaving again by the same exit? Yes, after all, we do know an exit. A little soaking going through the water is very little to risk when perhaps so much depends upon it. You're deuced well right, Philander. And I'm for going in at once. Uh, bien. But in case of difficulty, I'm going to send ten of my men back to the hut in the clearing to watch for the return of the cruiser. I shall go up front and pick the details. Mm, I don't like the idea of sending part of the men away. Not at all. Uh, well, after all, Clayton, we can't take them all into the cave with us. No, no, I suppose not. <laughs> What's going on ahead there? The natives have found something. Uh, yes, and they're quite excited about the discovery. It's a piece of Jane's hunting shirt, Professor. A piece of the sleeve. I know it. Uh, let me see. Yes. It cares. Well, uh, hello, Dono. What do you say to this? Where was it found, monsieur? A topara. Topara. Lamy. <laughs> right in front of the cave. I'm more inclined to doubt than ever. This makes it obviously a trap, monsieur. Look about you. There is not a place where Mademoiselle Porter could have torn her sleeve. The witch doctor brought this piece of cloth from the village. All right, all right. We've got to go inside that cave to prove our theory incorrect. So be it, monsieur. Now, Monsieur Clayton, I know that you do not agree with me, but I ask you one thing. Certainly. When we go through that waterfall to the cave, the witch doctor goes with us. Right. Hidden in the dense foliage, Tarzan and Jane looked down on the seething, milling throng of blacks. Look, Tarzan. They found my sleeve. It's a trap to get Daddy into the cave. Didn't you hear what they said? Tarzan, no, understand everything. Oh, if only I could warn them. Daddy, all of them. Oh, no. Jane cry out. Black man kill. Wait. Yes, I know. But if I could do something. Tarzan. Yes? You've got writing. Warning. The paper you put on hot door. Yes. In quiver with arrows. Jane, right? Yes, yes. Tarzan, fixed paper to arrow. Shoot. Quickly. Now, pencil. Now. Daddy, I am in trees with Tarzan of the Apes. Don't go into cave. Jane. All fixed. Give Tarzan. An arrow. Shot at the professor. What are you doing, Clayton? Don't you see in the trees? Tarzan! Quick, Dano, stop him! Confound it! What the deuce? Why do you knock down my arm and spoil my aim? Look! Look! A message from Jane! She's safe in the trees! 
But look after me, these leaders. Yes. Are... And when they get through shooting their arrows at Mademoiselle Jane and Tarzan, they will turn their attention to us. Why the devil didn't you let me shoot? Do not be a fool, Monsieur Clayton. It is bad enough now. You forced our hand and showed the natives that we do not want to help capture Tarzan. Very stupid of you, Clayton. They expected you to kill him. And when Darla was forced to knock your gun down, it proved to the cannibals that the rest of us don't want to kill him. Yes, and there is the witch doctor urging the man to attack us. We'd better try to get away now while they are still occupied with Tarzan. Uh, but but, but I, I can't see Jane. Uh, um, Tarzan has disappeared. Where can Jane be? Come, come, that mob is liable to turn upon us at any moment. If they do, there is only one chance. What? The cave. It is taboo. It's our only chance. Then let's take it. Follow me and get that witch doctor. He goes in with us even if we have to throw him in. All right, I'm here. Here, Monsieur Clayton, this way. Come on. All right, coming. Come on, Monsieur Lefebvre. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on, Is the taboo strong enough to keep the natives from following and killing the white men? 